good day to all of you. So in this video, I'm going to illustrate you the so-called Beladis Anomaly. So Beladis Anomaly, so what is it? So uh, in a typical demand paging, as you have learned in chapter 10 about virtual memory, so uh, to decrease the number of page faults is to increase the number of page frames. So Beladis Anomaly is a case in which that Increasing the number of frames will also increase the number of page fault. So, Beladis anomaly only happens in the first in, first out page replacement algorithm. It does not occur in optimal and least recently used. So, and another is what is the cause of Beladis anomaly? So, Beladis anomaly is based on the author Laszlo Beladi. Um, he first demonstrated this anomaly in 1969, so it is named after him. So, before we answer the question, what causes Beladis anomaly? So, let's have an example here of a reference string. So, this is our reference string. Actually, this reference string is already given um, in our um, lesson in Chapter 10, Virtual Memory. It's just that the solution is not shown there. So... Um, for uh, for this example, so um, let's use the shortcut method for faster because we're only dealing with the number of page faults. So for this example is, uh, again, let's set the number of frames into um, three. Okay, three page frames. Okay, three page frames. Okay, so we have... Okay, so 1, then 2, then 3. So, okay, next is 4. Since for Beladis Anomaly, we're using the first in, first out. Replace 1, okay, with 4. And then, next is we have 1. So, replace the oldest um, page frame, which is in uh, frame number 2, which is 2. And then, replace it with 1. And then next is 2, okay? Uh, replace the oldest, which is in frame number 3. So we have 2, okay? Next is we have 5. So 5, the oldest here, the oldest frame here is 4. Replace it with 5. And then, okay, 2, 5. And then next is we have 1, 2. So it's already in the page frame. And the next is we have 3. So, replace the oldest frame, which is in frame number 2, which is 1. Replace it with 3. And next is we have 4. Okay. Replace the oldest, which is in frame number 3. So, replace it with 4. Okay. Next is we have 5. And 5 is already in the page, in one of the page frames. So, uh, how many page fault... Uh, that's this uh, reference string uh, resulted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 9 page faults. Again, so Beladis Anomaly, it says that if you're going to increase the number of page frame, there is a possibility that the page fault will also increase. Um, in one case, okay? So, what if, for example, in our next example, let's use four frames. Okay, so, one, two, three, and then four. Four frames. Okay, so, we have one. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, because it can already accommodate um four um values from the reference string okay next is we have one so it's already there number two is also already there so next is we have five so the oldest um value here is of course in frame number one so replace one with five and then next is we have one since one is recently removed the oldest frame here is uh in frame number two so replace um, 2 with 1, okay, next is we have 2, okay, replace 
the next which is frame number three uh, frame number three with uh, three replace it with two okay next is we have three so the old the oldest frame is frame number four so replace four with three okay then we have four so four it's not in the in any of the page frames so you have to replace five with four and then five of course it is um recently removed so it's not in the in any of the page frame so again the oldest frame here is in frame number two replace one with five okay so if we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay 10 page faults that is the Belladis anomaly that if you increase the um, the the page frame it will increase also the page fault okay so the question again is what causes Belladis anomaly so actually Belladis anomaly depends upon the sequence of the reference string so let's have another sequence so as we can see with our sequence it uses one two three four and five and then let's see so the number of ones is one and eh, number of ones is three number of frequency of two is three also then three is two four is two and then five is also two so since we already have that information so what if we're going to create another sequence that is based on this um, reference string um, the sequence we're only going to to have a different sequence but the same number of or frequencies of the values so let's have a um, reference string so let me uh, allow allow me to 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 write so we have one three five three four two one five two four one two okay so our, our one should be one two three one two three and then our two should also be three so one two three and then our three is we have two free uh, two values of uh okay one one two four three then for four is also two and then for five is also two so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just the same number of um, elements of the reference string. The same number of, of the values. Uh, how much it is? these values are repeated. The only difference is the sequence. So let's see if it's really the sequence. Uh, that's why there is Belladis anomaly. So again, let's have three page frames. Okay, so we have okay one, three, five. Okay, next is we have three. Three is already in the page frame. Then next is we have four. So four is not yet in the page frame. So replace the oldest, which is one, replace it with four. Okay, next is we have two. It's not yet in the uh, in any of the page frames so uh, the oldest is in page frame number two which is three three will be replaced by two okay next is we have one so replace again the oldest so oldest here is in frame number three so we have uh, five will be replaced by one okay so next is we have um, five so replace it again so because it's uh, recently removed four to one so the oldest here is in frame number one so four with five okay next is we have two or uh, two already in the page frame next is we have four so replace frame number two so value two will be replaced by four okay next is we have um one okay so it's already in the page frame and last but not the least is we have two so five for one it's not in the 
page frame. So, replace um, one, which is the oldest among the page frames, with two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, just the same with the example, we have nine page faults. Okay. So, the next one is we're going to illustrate what if we have... Um, Four frames. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Okay, and then we have four. Okay, so again, so one, three, five. Okay, so three is already in the, um, in any of the page frames. So next is we have four, so just place four in the fourth frame and then next is we have two so the oldest here is what in frame number one so replace it with two and then next is one so the next to be replaced is in frame number two so replace three with one okay we already have five there okay we already have two also in the uh, six on uh, the page frames so it's okay next is also we have four so next is we have one and next is we have two so uh, all of them are already so five two four one two is already inside in one of the page frame so we have one two three four five six okay six page faults so we can now conclude that Veladis anomaly only occurs uh, depending upon the sequence of the of the of the values of the reference string, so uh, as we can already see that I've already made another sequence, uh, also made out of this um, made of these values. The only difference between the two is the sequence. So I hope that you understand all about Belladis anomaly. So if you do have further questions. Please feel free to comment below and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thank you very much and good day.